This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 22, Project Design a Game, Part 7. Let's see. Um, this is what I have so far. I do need to shrink my sprite still, but that's fine for now. Create your animation. Next, you will create your animations in the game in the animation tab. Don't forget to make multiple animations if you want your sprites to change appearances according to how they're moving. Perfect. And so here are my animations thus far. Okay. And Mr. Alien, they call Alien, I guess. Uh, all right. What I want is, I think if jumping, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. And he looks the same, though. Let me just double check. Oh, there's a little bit of a difference. Interesting. No. Nope, definitely not that. Delete. <laughs> um, all right, let's try this again. Duplicate. And can I... Apply to all frames. Alt to flip horizontally. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and click. That is what I want. Perfect. Um, oh, whoops. Except I needed it to be a different sprite. Because otherwise that will happen constantly. There we are. That one's that way. And that one's down. So floating alien. We'll just call alien up. And then I need alien down. And that should be all right. We don't want our cactuses dancing. Hamburgers. OK, so that's the one I really want to switch, depending on how you're touching. I'm going to switch this over, though, because I want alien up to be the first. And I'm actually going to flip him upside down when he jumps, because he's an alien and I can't. Don't forget to make multiple animations if you want your sprite to change. All right, well, I got that, so cool. Let's keep going.